Hi guys, this is Kearns and this is a lesson 7 in which we're gonna start in the wheel business. We're gonna start by talking about candlestick and I'm gonna start this section by another using another another quote. So uh, the truth is in real life, the truth is made by belief, facts or proven truths, and reality is a truth that can stimulate our senses. So generally, that's not new, you know. The truth is generally whatever people are ready to believe in. And facts, if you can prove it, then it, it's a fact. And then, if ever you can actually use your sense to experience that truth, it becomes a reality to you. Just spend a few minutes and then think about that. Now, let's talk about candlestick. Now, this is um, one of the way to see candlesticks. Candlestick is uh, it's like a, pa uh, a page of story, fight between the bulls and the bear for a specific period of time. Now, that's one way to see it. But um, let's go on the whiteboard. Yeah, uh, already on the whiteboard. Let's go on the right board so that we can go ahead and explain a little bit. In order to understand it, and first we have to say that candlestick is a form of shorting. It's a form of it's a form. It's a form of shorting. Oh man, yeah. sorry. It is a form of shorting. The reason is not every trader uses candlesticks. This is the most used form of shorting, but not everyone will use it because not every trading platform, or if you are using any kind of platform to make your investment, you might not have access to candlestick shorting. But in order to understand candlestick, they look scary. Uh, I still remember the first time I look at a short and I was like I w it was total totally I was blind in a sense until I sit down and try to understand what is the reality behind a candlestick what is it exactly well technically a candlestick is just a piece of the moment it's like a, a it's like you take a picture the most important con concept about candlestick it's this letter that I used in the previous video that represent time or period okay um, a time is defined by so uh, a point A and a point B, which means we start somewhere, we end up somewhere else. Let's say that you have a lapse of time between November, November the 1st, and November the 2nd. So we all know that this lapse of time is 24 hours. Okay, so we can go ahead and find how much minute how much second but all that that's a period of the time so between the first and the second november the first and november second this can easily be represented by a candle of one day because that's one day technically it's a moment of the time this and during this we're gonna um, the candle give you the expression of what happened. 
Now, there's not a lot of variety of action in the market. We all know it's a fight between the buyers that we call bulls and the sellers that we call bears. There is absolutely nothing new about that. I remember in the very beginning of the class, first or second lesson, I told you that intentions are generally goods, but so often actions are bad. The reason is the concept of good and bad so often rely on the simple word, which is perspective. What I mean by that is your enemy, just because of that, your enemy is someone else freedom fighter. Okay, so um, you might have, you might be part, you might, we all part of a country, you might have an army in your country, so generally what happened is that your enemy you you generally the present them all as being bad but that's the exact same thing in the other side so everybody is here with the good intention but with the good intention with the good intentions we human are capable of the worst atrocity and then that's the kind of thing we don't have to go back in the story a lot of atrocity hidden by good intention so the reason why i insist in this is because intention will be useless in the trading world you won't need that at all okay so I don't care if you're here to make money, your intention hard to make money, or maybe your intention is I'm not going to lose money, but the thing is that you need to come in the market with a set of strategy, and it's the most, in the, uh, the, the first thing to understand is that we're going to analyze the market based on that simple word which is T which represents time now during a certain time this time can represent one week this time can represent one day this time can represent uh, one hour but they can all be represented by candle because this type of shorting actually express um, the result the result of the fight between the bull and the bear during that specific period that you gonna have to choose if you choose uh, a candlestick in which one candle is equal one week then you're gonna have the what happened during that one week of, of battle between the bull and, and the bear who wins who lost who did try hard but fail who did try hard and win just one candle can tell you a lot of information so let's just get back and let's do some reading in the context of swing training candlestick study are significant in four hours four hours in one day time frame this we're gonna have to talk about that later now let's analyze it and i'm gonna show you uh let's go ahead and think i'm gonna show you um a chart again i'm gonna show you i'm um, i'm oh, sorry okay so a candle is constitute of a body a open a close high low and a weeks these you're gonna get used to those terms but it's easier to understanding so technically i'm gonna try to help you understand this 
using this now okay so this is this is a poor version of trading view i already told you how to set that up and and kind of have the similar screen um every single one of these are candles every single one of these are candles now i want you to consider the entire short as a story a story that is being written by every single person in the world together as this is the story of the human being okay we all with our action daily basis action we are all trying to put our fingerprint in the story of the humanity and you can see it like that now this can do i'm gonna use a real short because i think this can be a little bit difficult to get this is the same short same same pair everything now every single one of these little bars are being called candles they all represent a page of the story the story is the entire thing but every single one of these represent a page of what happened during a very specific period of time now what you can realize is that the the candle represent a set of time it can represent one week if you choose the one week time frame it can represent one day if you choose the one day time frame it can represent four hours if you choose the four hour time frame and so on and so forth now what is interesting we're gonna have to talk about um, time frames and what they represent and how to choose a time frame for your trading strategy the first thing you need to um, general consideration is even though they are all candle you will realize that they are different colors and then you will realize that they are different shape essentially um, candlestick are nowadays only two colors they are bullish candle they are represent in green and the red candles are represent um the bear candle are represented using red candles candlestick okay so reds are bear color and greens are bull color back in the days it used to be black and white and white used to be bullish and black um, used to be bare color so technically even though they are the colors of the the colors of the candle state are not enough to tell you if a candle is bullish or bearish the shape is in, is very important but the first thing you need to um, the first thing you see when you look at that is technically two colors that represent essentially the two most powerful um, force in the market which are the bulls in green and the bears in red that's the reason why during the first lesson anytime I'm using um, any, anytime I'm doing some kind of illustration I make sure that I use uh, the same color just to get you used to this color. Now, the shapes are different, even though they are all candlestick. The f the fact that they are they are different colors, their constitution are also different. Now we're gonna have to go back in the presentation. Wait. Okay, so. For an example, a bullish candle is generally green or generally white. Now, the bull movement is a movement. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pick that up just to make. Okay. So, the bull movement, the bullish movement is generally a movement from the bottom to the top. So, generally price end up higher during that period of time this represent a period of time this candle can literally mean five minutes 15 minutes one hour one day one week one month just it really depends on you and the type of 
training style you choose price end up higher because this is a bullish candle now every candle they have a open and a close this represent when the price so for an example um, we might have another candle here sorry okay this candle was the first let's say that every because as a swing trader one day is probably the most important time frame for you now just say that the first that day the candle closed here this close is the opening of the of the next candle generally not all the time because sometimes they talk about gap which is um, a concept that I'm gonna talk to you I'm gonna teach you a little bit uh, further but this close let's say that this was November um, the 1st and that's that's the close and that's the second so it opens right there and then this entire thing this entire candle right there represent one day now in this page this is a story that literally tell you that well in this candle the bulls manage to push the price higher than it start for the day it opens the price here and it close it here as of now i just want you to consider the open and the close so the um, the result of that particular 24 hours because this we're gonna consider this is one day so we're gonna use time frame time frame t we're gonna use t one day okay one day so this candle is in one day we change this we change this so we open and close higher that's a bullish candle now during that battle price might go higher than the close this is a high this is the highest price that we had during that period of one day and this was the lowest price we had during that period of one day okay now because of the fact that we didn't close here the candle the body of the candle because this is considered as the body here it's the body and these these are weeks you're gonna hear this term so these they are weeks okay they represent the zone in which the price managed to the price in some ways reach the zone but it didn't really stay to actually accomplish the will of one or the other sides of the market so these are a zone in which for example the bull pushed it all the way up but the bears managed to close it a little bit lower than that so the bear reject this zone the same thing right there the bear did push it a little bit lower than the opening but the bulls managed to defend this zone right there they defend these positions so weeks generally they represent zone of rejection and this is the true body of the candle this is the movement that happened for that particular period of time okay now for the same subject you might have you might have a, a bearish candle so generally if you have the same chart that I'm using suppose you're gonna have it red some people still using this black one this is the same consideration the only difference is that because of of the fact that the price action is going from the top to the bottom in this direction well let's use the proper color in this direction so 
um, you're gonna have a open and a close in, in different orientation than it was in a bullish candle so it can open on top and close on the bottom so the candle still have two weeks this particular candle still have two weeks right there and then this is the body this is the body of the bearish candle now we're gonna go over some 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 very particular can uh, very particular candle because what i am telling you i'm just gonna give you a little bit more explanation uh, we're gonna go on the whiteboard and then um it's like um every candle like i told you their stories now because their stories candle can present themselves in different shape so we're gonna have uh for an example you have a green candle like this and um the week you the you you might have um for example you have two weeks like this and then this generation this general generally they represent zone of rejection over there these are zone of rejection now because there is different type of shape for example this candle could have easily be something like this okay it can have be it could have be something like this or um well like this okay so everything is the the shape even though the color what i am trying to figure out here is that even though the color even though the color is the same shape of the candles might necessarily they can give you an idea of what kind of what can we expect is and it's the different shape different shape can give you idea different shape different shape can give you idea of different different probably probabilities so in other words what is most likely to happen most likely to happen now we're gonna go over some very specific candle and um, based on my experience it's more important to identify the 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 shape instead of knowing their name okay the first type of candle we're gonna talk about are generally those um those candle in which um we're gonna call them um next one okay so this shape represent indecision in the market okay so um this these candles generally the name because i am i am not good at name i just can't recognize them and kind of identify what they really means so this is called a spinning top in which you have uh, the weeks are way bigger than the bodies let's say that time t was um time t was we have one day we are in a time frame we are one day and then we have this candle right there these are indecision in the market even though they kind of different color they kind of share the same meaning it's only mean that the battle is even even though the bulls manage to close it a little bit higher or even this what happened is that the bulls they push all the way up 
they give all they had during that one ter one day period they give all they had to push it all the way up but the bears they managed to answer and we checked the bulls to this level right there and the same thing happened here the bears they try real hard but the bulls what they do is they just reject it and even though these colors are different even though these colors are different generally they mean the same thing we're gonna you're gonna have a lot of them in reversal generally before reversal and so often you're gonna have a lot of them when the market is sideways a lot of them and when the market is sideways now the next one we're gonna talk about is what they call um still these candles are they represent um and decision in the market so the color like i told you they are not more important than the shape in this particular candle and what you see is that the characteristic of indecision stays the same in which you have bigger weeks the weeks the weeks you know the weeks they are way bigger than the bodies same situation for almost every single one of them so weeks are way bigger than the body in this situation when we talk about dojis um the body of the candle is can re can be reduced to a single line in some situation and once again they are you'll you'll see them a lot in reversal and a lot in sideway market now uh, we're gonna keep going with the same type of candle same different shape but kind of same same type of candle now this one is still in decision but you can it's a call for action for an example if you see a shooting star now it's in hop trend you must close any position any long position long position or because the sellers they might try to take control okay now you might um, find it very very confusing because even though those two candles they are different color they are expressing the same thing now for an example this might be a situation in which um, in, in general these are situation in which the market were going up and then you have this particular shape now what does that mean is that so in this situation the bulls the bulls they manage to open here and they close a little bit at the same level and then when you analyze the other candle the bears they manage to open here and they barely go a little bit lower than that it's very the movement is very the, the range is very tiny but the, the more important thing is the shape in both situation we have a wick it's a wick in the upper side of the candle which mean the bull did try and they really try hard and then the rejection that you that 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 you can easily un interpret here was violent and we you can have a lot of big of this big weeks they can be very long in some particular trends this is a short of big one and then this is um we have the daily time frame on and then we're gonna start look for and this is if nest in the market see all those tiny trade look at this ones so um these are this is for an example this is a sideway zone that was in 2013 february 2013 between february 2013 and 
no between february um yeah february 2012 and and june 2012 you'll see there's a lot of indecisiveness in the market all these they really look like uh, the kind of candle that we saw in the slides okay and i'm gonna look for some other interesting one see all these and this is the candle it's the range is very tiny now it's important to be able to identify the zone because what happened is like i told you in the very first part of this class um because of the fact there is three three different type of trend in the market so often you'll find yourself in a situation in which some trading strategy used to be extremely profitable in a, for an example in a bull market or in a bull trend and then suddenly you find yourself in um sideways for an example and then the market is the market is because of the fact that the the range is tiny for an example like this zone over here you might not be able to be as profitable so generally a trader has more than just one trading strategy is is preparing himself to to face different time of market different time of different different type of trend in the market so we saw all these indices is nerve candles the next candle i'm gonna present you two different shape they are um reversal now in uh, uptrend so you're gonna have different type of green candle green and more green candle and the shape you need to pay attention is something like this okay something like this or in a downtrend in a downtrend for an example in downtrend so you have a bunch of red candle you know red candle i'm being very silly here but bunch of red candle and then you have the same shape same shape over here okay okay so here we were in an uptrend and and this is two different scenarios and this was a downtrend now when you see this happening over here this is called um hanging man and here this is called a hammer now this is the type of shape because we we saw um an example of and this is indecision in the market but these two type of candle they are generally signs of reversal this means the the opposite side who for an example in this situation the bear might try to take control of the market or in this situation the bulls might try to take control in the market now remember trading is about probability probability so when you see this in an uptrend this is not an indication to short okay because even though this is the probability for this to be the first sign of a reversal this is not enough to short but if you had a long position you might need you might need to reduce long i'm gonna put it you might need to reduce longs just to um protect yourself and or you might just close longs now if you see this in a in a in a 
downtrend you see in Hammer in now in a downtrend this is not an indication to enter a long position you need to wait for other confirmation but if you had a, a short position you might need to reduce your position so you would use shorts or you just close sorry shorts but that's not enough to enter a position these generally are not enough when it comes to swings these generally are not enough to enter position I'm gonna try to find some of them for you in a real short Go here um, for an example um, remember when it comes to this candle shape are extremely important and probably more important than um, than the um, than the color okay that's one right there I don't know you can even see this one so we had an uptrend and remember shapes are more important okay, let's go in a lower time frame just to make sure we had more example uh, for an example if you were in a short position anywhere somewhere here i'm being i'm not gonna be very specific right now but you see this candle right there and you see this candle right there these are not indication to short i mean these are not indication to enter long positions these are this only means that if you were in a short position right there you just need to close or reduce your positions because this might be we never know well in this case that was a reversal but these are might be the first signs of reversal that you're gonna see in um in when you are doing this kind of analysis okay let's try to see if we can find some something else so let's say that uh, you use some technical analysis and then you manage to enter a short position in this zone right there and then you are in the short position since what um it's almost one month and then you saw this big fat hammer right there that's a beautiful one now the shape might i mean this is a general concept okay you don't have to wait for that it's a very specific one you might have a small wig here or something the wig might be way longer or the body is a little bit bigger than that but the thing is um i'm looking for some very well designed ones for you but this one right there is an example and this might be an indication for you to close the short not enough to enter along even though yes along will have be very profitable over here but this is a nice hammer over here and you have all those indecisiveness see and before reversal i told you that this this candle of this indecisiveness they happen this candle of indecisions they happen in reversal or in generally in sideways market okay that's another example we do we have any other one for you nice um so um this is uh this can be considered as um it's gonna be considered as a shooting star it's right there okay these are signs you know it could have been in this position before a drop all right guys this that's it for lesson seven remember to subscribe share and like those information we're gonna keep moving with the next one we're gonna have to talk about time frame in the next lesson Feel free to comment, like I said, take care, bye.